we were girlfriend, boyfriend, maybe six, no, about a year into mm -hmm. your graduate school, I lost my job. I had always had jobs, internships mm -hmm. and stuff, so I didn't never have to go without. And he's um, a provider. Like, yeah. that's just who he is by nature. He's a person who, if we go out for drinks, he's going to slap his card on the bar and pay for everyone's drinks. So to not be able to do that was yeah, taking was, a was, toll yeah, on him. Yeah, it was him. messing me up. So I was, like, becoming a very angry, different person <laughs> um, in that point in time. I'm running out of money. She wants to go on double date one of her colleagues or one of her classmates. And I'm like, no, like, let's eat this Jimmy John's this weekend. Like, I'm just chilling. It's like, no, her boyfriend's coming to town. We're going out. And if you ever met this one before, she can uh, be very much <laughs> decisive and you don't have much <laughs> say in it. Um, so we go out. I'm just seeing them order up the men. You know, we all with your friend. Get a drink. I'll have the water. With lemon, please. <laughs> and I'm just like, Counting up, I'm like, oh my God, what are we gonna do when this bill comes? That's all I can think about the entire time. I look down and I see that I had a um, text from her. It was like, yo, check your account. And I saw that she had quick paid me money to cover the meal so I could pull out my card as opposed to her, you know, pulling out hers. And that's just like, that's crazy, bro. Like, that, that, that right there, I said, when I get my life together, <laughs> I'm marrying you. You don't have to think, you, I'm marrying you because you freaking get it, bro. You with me, what was the most humiliating moments of my life, just like, she wouldn't let me lose hope. Fat boy in the building. Uh, I tried to watch this video a couple times and feel the love factor of when Harry met Sally type vibe. I, I didn't get that. I, I got sucker vibes. I, I got simping vibes. You didn't want to go to a thing your wife and her friends you ain't had no money and she cashed after you the money to make you look go first off that feels like you got some real insecurities about yourself secondly if you had the money you shouldn't have went if she had the money she should have just said that from the get go baby don't worry about it I got us simple as that both of y'all fake uh, I hope y'all get divorced um, I get you always having money if you're a provider and stuff falls off, okay, she didn't leave you. That's a plus. That's the one plus I get out of it. Other than that, sucker vibes. I, if I ain't got the money to go on, go. There is no convincing. There isn't. There is, I my reputation is is on the line. Apparently, I don't have a reputation. I don't care. I'm I'm me. I I go. I don't go. If I don't go, if I don't got it, and I still go. I'm that good. But. I really don't like people like that. And these are your friends, and you want me to do something for you, and you got the money for it. You should have just lived with that. You ain't got to make me feel good. I ain't got it. I'm at peace, and I'm at cool with saying I ain't got it.